Yeah. So we're gonna open open it up, suss it out. I got my money on the compressor, but I don't know. Heaps of old tempers zone units up here. Another one there. Alrighty, oh, look at that cap. I'm gonna test to see if there's power. The breaker is currently off. I'm just gonna test it just to make sure. No power. Alright, sweet as. Just out of curiosity, we're just gonna take the cables off the um, capacitor and just see if that capacitor is still okay. Alright, so that's already on the right setting. Should be 50 microfarad. Zero? Zero. Alright, zero. I got one in the car, but I'm. Um, Flying it lid, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no worries. Alright, so the capacitor's fucked, but um, I'm gonna put a new capacitor in, turn it on. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, put a new capacitor in, turn it on, and um, if it still trips, then I'm, the second thing I'm gonna do is unplug the compressor and then turn it back on that's my way of thinking to start disconnecting stuff anyway i'll go get a new cap turn it on if it trips then we'll disconnect the compressor just done heaps of installs lately and a customer gave us that which is pretty cool 50 Alright, sweet. New, capaci new capacitor. I'm going to turn that on. Oh, it's already on. Alright, we're going to go turn the breaker on and then see if it trips and go from there. Alright, Tom's about to turn that breaker on. So that just tripped straight away before Tom could even get to the controller. So I'm going to take the compressor out now. The, I'm going to take the cables off the compressor. He's bad lighting. Unplug the compressor. I'm just going to put some tape over the ends of these and we're going to turn the power back on. Alright, so I've taped up with electrical tape the ends. We're going to turn that on temporarily, see if it trips. I'll get Tom to turn the breaker on. Right, so the power's on, the contact is pulled in, the fan's running, and it hasn't tripped. So it's tripping straight away every single time. It hasn't tripped yet, so the compressor is obviously cooked. So, we need to get a compressor for this thing. There it is. I'm going to check this start cap. Just for curiosity. Because we'll obviously need a new compressor. Alright, go. So 
I just tested the compressor with a mega. Obviously, the cables were off the actual compressor. It was just the compressor itself. But I tested it with a mega, and it is not down to earth. Absolutely not. So I've just plugged it back in. What we're going to do, because this star capacitor is cooked, just out of curiosity, I'm just going to get a star capacitor out of this one and chuck it in here and then go turn it on again. So I found another one, ripped the head off, or ripped the top off, sorry. We're going to test this. Hopefully it's sweet. Two, yeah, that yeah two that's sweet as. So we're just going to rip that, rip that out, chuck it in the other one and give it a go. Transplanting the star capacitor. Do you want to tighten that up? Uh, yeah. How good is it having more than one set of hands? This is luxury. Is that tight? I got um uh, ones that piggyback. Oh okay. Um, Do you wanna go get it? Ooh, you don't wanna fuck that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It has a gap on the back anyway. It's just a bit tight. Alright, stand back. Alright, I think that just tripped again straight away. Alright, so just um disconnected the compressor. Do one more test. Should turn on. Yeah, alright, it's one hundred percent the compressor. Um start cap was cooked, the run cap was cooked, got a good start capacitor from that one which I'm going to put back I replace that I just don't carry start capacitors um, so both capacitors are good and the compressor is officially cooked yeah. alright so I'm just going to test the compressor on a good compressor to give you an example in between the run winding and the common winding is basically one ohm in between the common and the start is basically two ohms. But between run and start is three ohms. So common and run and common and start should add up to the total of run and start. So that's healthy. However, the other compressor is not, which I'll show you now. So this is the one that's cooked. I was going to show you as an example what it is. So he's going to put that there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty tight spot. Right, so if you push that in, so that, that's one point. Five. 1.5, 1.6, 1.6, 1.1. So they're all three? Yeah. Yeah. 1.6 again. 1.6. 1.5. 1.5, 1.6, 1.1. Yeah, so the windings, the, the resistance of the windings are different to a healthy one and it's tripping but it's not down to earth I've confirmed that anyway so I'm gonna get a new compressor and I um, start winding that's the problem and I'll film when I come back to do it but it is currently Friday the I don't know what the date is 
22nd. So tomorrow's a weekend and then it's Christmas. But yeah, I'm definitely going to film doing a compressor change here. So stay posted. But yeah, I've confirmed it's a compressor. I, I disconnected it, the windings, and you turn it on and it doesn't trip. So this and a star capacitor and we're good. All right, let's pack this thing up. Get out of here. It's currently 7.19 on a Friday night. And there's the city. Anyway, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna take that with me so I can get a new one. You can press up. That's done. Let's go.